Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to find a number as a product of primes. Now, when you're doing that, you're pretty much doing uh, what we, we call a prime factorization, because the idea is you can take any number and write it as a product of primes, and that's using the prime factorization uh, theory, if you will. So, for example, if you just take the number 12, any number will do, what you want to do is you break up the number 12 into as much as you can into as smallest numbers of, as possible, and these numbers will be the primes themselves. So, now, you take 12, for example, and just break it up any way you want. It can be 3 times 4, 6 times 2, etc. So let's just do 4 times 3. And understand that because 3 is a prime, 3 cannot be broken up any further. So you leave the 3 as is, but anytime you have a prime, you just circle it for tracking. Now, the 4, though, can be broken down further. So 4 can be broken up into 2 times 2. Now, as you already know, twos cannot be broken down any further because they're primes, so we're going to circle those individually. Now, that means 12 is broken up as 2 times 2 times 3. So, any number, as long as you do what we call a factorization tree and broken up into primes, you're pretty much done and the problem is complete. So 12 can be rewritten as 2 times 2 times 3. As you can tell, it's a product of primes, but you will always get to this kind of result if you use the prime factorization. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to write a number as a product of primes.